Pray for everybody to be here and bless you. Thank you, blessed of the house of the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm in for Mark chapter 12. Verses 1 through 5. And he went to speak unto the divine parents, who certainly plant a vineyard, and set the hedges before the garden, and dig a place for a wine cup, and build a tower, and let it out of to husband and went into a far country and in the season he sent to the husband a servant that he might receive from the husband of the fruit of the vineyard. And they called him and beat him and sent him away empty. And beginning he said unto them, Among servants, and him that cast stone, and whom he in the head and sent away shamefully and and, and again he sent others and he would kill and many others beat some and kill some Thank you, Father. Thank you for this. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory to you. Hallelujah. Praise the wonderful name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go through you for free. But uh, welcome is up in the morning. It's a blessing to see you. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Your presence. Thank you. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for all you have done for me. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As in the testimony. As in the one thing, God. Let us see another day. And you know what's going to happen in God in the next hour. But we just want to keep praising your blessings. I think we just come for your father. I think we thank for just waking us up. And I just do thank for one that had a desire to come and want to be here. Amen. Yes. Each and every day. We trust you, not ourselves, that these giants and missions we go through. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Let the people of God say amen. amen. Come on, let's say amen again. Amen. amen. It's good to be in the house one more time. Amen. 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 Growing them song of songs say, glad to be in the service. Amen, 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 just one more time, amen. I'm blessed to be in the house of the Lord this morning, giving honor to God who's the head of our life, amen, amen. to Lady Brookings, to uh, our deacon staff, to our ministers, amen. amen, amen to each of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and to those that are watching us live by Facebook, amen. Amen. We're just excited to be in the house. Somebody shout one more time. Okay. Amen. Grown and got smart and said he didn't have to let us live. 
but he let us live to be in the service one more time. Amen. I'm glad to be here on top of the earth instead of the earth on top of me. Amen. That let me know God is still in the blessing business. Amen. 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 Then I was able to look around and see all my family. Come on, somebody. Is still doing good. Amen. Amen. That let me know that I got an opportunity just to tell him thank you. Amen. I thank him this morning for his goodness and his mercy towards us. Amen. Amen. And I'm just grateful this morning to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And I'm just excited about what God is doing for us. Amen. Amen. Many didn't make it, but we were one of the ones that are still here. Come on, talk to me this morning. We're, we're still here. Amen. We kept by his grace. Amen. Amen. It didn't, the coronavirus didn't harm us. Come on, somebody. And no vaccine didn't stop it. Amen. It's the grace of God that we are still here. Come on, somebody. I don't know about y'all, but I got faith in him. Come on, somebody. I don't care what the government is saying. I don't care what CDC is saying. I got faith in the Lord. Amen. And he said, if I trust him, come on, somebody. He'll work it out for my good. Can I get a witness in here? And guess what? I'm trusting him and, and I'm believing that he will. He's a rewarder to those that diligently seek him. I've been seeking the Lord. Come on, somebody. And when you're seeking the Lord, come on, somebody. Yeah. Gonna be all right. I come to show notice to you that's watching me this morning. If you're looking for something, come on, you don't have to look no further. Why? Right? Because it's in Jesus. Come on, somebody. And Jesus is the only one that can make it all right. Hallelujah. Put your hands together in this house. Amen. There's a word from the Lord. I promise we'll hold you long. But why I got your attention here. Turn with me to the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 11, amen, in verse 13, amen. I'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible, amen. amen, amen, so we can enjoy the rest of our Sunday, amen. But as a word for you, if you would only open up your ears and hear what Christ has to say to the church, amen. amen. St. Luke chapter 11, verse 13, amen, as you're looking, amen, we want to continue to let you know that we're located in the heart of South Memphis, amen, 1437 Macmillan Street, amen, amen. every Sunday at 1115, we are here every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, amen, press starts at 615, Amen. And Bible study starts at 7. Amen. Amen. And starting next week on the 25th, 26th, and 27th is our fall revival with the great apostle John Eddie Mack from the Lord is My Shepherd Ministries. We'll be here nightly at 7 o'clock starting next Wednesday on the 25th to that Friday. You don't want to miss this revival and those of you that's listening to us that want to give to this ministry you can give to us by dollar sign triumphant one four three seven that's dollar sign triumphant one four three seven your contributions will be greatly appreciated god bless you and god keep you we love you until we meet again here's the word today saint luke chapter 11 amen verse 13 says if you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them who ask him? Amen. Amen. I just want to talk for a few minutes this morning. Amen. It's what you ask the Father for. Amen. It's what you ask the Father for. Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you this morning, God, for this, your word. God, we thank you for those that are here and those that are listening to us by television, God, by 
Facebook. God, we pray this morning that you would touch us, strengthen us, guide us, open up our ears and hearts of understanding that we may receive what you have to say to the church. God, we thank you this morning, God, as we let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts, be accepted in your sight for you, my Lord, my strength, and my Redeemer. Let the church say amen. 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 It's what you ask the Father for this morning. My brothers and sisters, as the curtain removes from this text today, I write it here. Luke is penmanship to us. When he says oh, a little further, he says, the ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. All these things speaks of perseverance and guarantee a positive answer at least if it's in what? The will of God. So when you're asking God for something, you got to understand to receive it. It got to be in the will. Come on, talk to me. And it is not also always it has to be in the will. Guess what? You got to understand. You got to be in Him. Come on, somebody. A lot of us want to ask God something, but we really don't have a relationship with God. Wait a minute, Apostle. Hold up right there. You mean tell me I got to have a relationship in order to get from God? Yes, you got to have a relationship with Jesus the Christ. Oh my God. Come on, help me in here. You got to build a relationship. How you expect to get something out of something that you don't spend time with? Come on, somebody. Too many of us want to have what we want from God, but we don't want to give up something. Come on, talk to me here. Sometimes it's nothing but giving up your life. So Jesus, come on somebody, give him your life. You got to give up your own life because guess what? Scripture says your body is not your own. Come on somebody, you belong to God as you give yourself to him. Come on somebody, if you want him to work in your life, give up yourself. Come on somebody, because if you look at it, things have not been working your way, no way. Oh, you talking now, Apostle. A lot of times, we'll try to fix situations and then nothing happen. Come on, somebody. But I do know if you give it to Jesus, somebody talk to me here. He'll work it out. Come on, somebody. I told you every time I turn around, he keep working things out for me. Come on, somebody. Over and over again. Get excited in here because I know when you hook up with Jesus. Y'all, y'all, hear me. When you really hooked up, I know a lot of folks say they hooked up with Jesus and really not hooked up because I used to say I was hooked up with him. Come on, somebody. And I really wasn't hooked up. I'm preaching here, Apostle. I know sometimes in my life I said that I was really for him. Guess what? And I really, really wasn't for him. Come on, somebody. Sometimes, you know, you would get in our life. Come on, somebody. The devil thought he had. But see, you got to understand when you really hook up with Jesus. Come on, somebody. Things start working out for your good. Help me in here. What are you saying? Look at the text. The text says here, if you then being evil, knowing how to give good gifts unto your children. What they're saying it means that the earthly parents certainly would not give their children a stone who acts for bread. What it's saying, Lady Brookings, today is if your parents on earth know how to give good gifts. <laughs> Come on, your mama ain't going to give you something that you didn't ask for. Come on, somebody. I wish I had some help in here. They're not going to give you the opposite of good, which is bad. I wish I had a witness in here. They're going to give you as close as they possibly can to the good things that they can afford. I wish I had a witness in here. But look at the text. It transpires and transitions to another half in here when it says, How much more shall your heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit, to them who acts of him? Come on, somebody. How much is God going to give you through the Holy Spirit? Can I help us this morning? You got to have the Holy Spirit. Oh, somebody talk to me. A lot of folks think they got it. Come on, automatically. But no, the God has to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, shook apostle. Wait a minute. 
and you talking Ebonics now. Come on, I don't understand what you're saying. The Holy Spirit has to come in you and baptize you under the blood washing of the blood. Come on, somebody. And the things that you do now, come on, somebody, when you feel with the Holy Ghost, you just can't do it. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. It's a lot of folk in our world that are hate, that are hurting right now. Come on, somebody. That are bitter right now. Why? Because they don't have the power of the Holy Ghost. They don't have the gift of the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. That's living on the inside. I wish I had some witness in there. The Holy Spirit is a what? Truth. It brings all truth. Uh-oh. Stop right there, it tells the truth of who you really are. Yeah. See, some folk don't want to know the truth about them. He said, he said in the word, he said, know the truth and the truth shall what? Make you free. The problem is, all of us are not free. Why? Because we don't want to know the truth. A lot of us bitter, come on, some previous relationships, come on. A lot of us hurt because people hurt us, come on, and we have never let it go. You got to let this stuff go, but you got to have the gift of the Holy Spirit to bring it to your attention. He said, Jesus said, when he was getting ready to leave here, he said, I'm going to leave y'all a comforter, which he was giving us a gift. He said, the comforter is going to come in my name, and it's going to teach you all things. The problem is, you don't want to be taught of who you really are. Yes. Hello, somebody. Some of us think we're okay, but when we're really not okay. Some of us lie and say everything is going okay when we're really not okay. Yes. Things are not going like we want them to go. Come on, somebody. Everybody is always the blame of what's happening in your life. I come by to tell you that everybody ain't the blame. You got to stop pointing fingers and start looking at your yes. come on, man. Teaching the apostle. So many times I was looking and pointing my hands of what stuff was going on with me when God said, no! Look at yourself. You know, it's amazing to me how people can lie so much. <laughs> so they start believing their lies. Come on, somebody. I have people call me all the time just telling lies. A couple of weeks ago, I had a young lady call me and told me a lie. And inside of her telling me one lie, she was saying another lie. Come on, somebody. Didn't even understand she had just told me one thing and came back contradicted the whole story. I wish I had a witness in here. We lie so much. That's how I know when folk feel with the Holy Ghost. Why? Because the Holy Spirit would convict you while you in your life. Amen. I wish I had a What's wrong with just telling people how you really feel? <laughs> What's wrong with telling folks the truth? Come on somebody. You don't owe nobody nothing. Come on somebody to tell them the truth, I wish I had to yeah. here. Sometimes we just can't help certain people. You're right. Because they don't want to help their own self. Come on, talk to me here. And I know they try to use that on us that are say you you supposed to be Christian. Well, I am Christian, but sometimes I just can't help you. Why? Because it's called hindering you. And that's what a lot of parents, come on somebody, do to their children instead of helping them by letting them go. Come on somebody. And let them grow up to be men and women. We hinder them by trying covering them in their mess. Yes, we do. Oh, ain't nobody going to like them, but that's okay. You got to understand. You got to let them go. Somebody talk to me. In order for them to grow. Somebody had to let you go for you to grow. Come on, somebody. But our Heavenly Father, He gives us the Holy Spirit. Come on. That comes to lead and guide us and show us the right direction. But the problem, Brother Ron, a lot of folks don't want to go in the right direction. They want to go in their own direction because sometimes... The right direction lead us to places, come on somebody, that we aren't familiar with. Yeah. Come on now. See, we, 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 we love stuff familiar, come on somebody. We love stuff that we, we know something about. But sometimes God takes you to places, I, I wish I had some help in here, that we don't know nothing about. Right. Hello somebody. Yeah. 
Hello, somebody. He takes us out of our comfort zone. Yeah. Heaven got help in here. Y'all don't like this this morning, but this true teacher, if you want and want God to move, come on, somebody. God's ways are not like our ways. God's thoughts are not like our thoughts. He said, my thoughts and my ways are higher than heaven and earth. Come on, somebody. You got to understand, we can't figure him out. Come on, somebody. You can't work the works that he works. Come on. While we yet trying to figure this thing out, he already worked it out, just waiting for us to walk in obedience. Teaching the apostle. So you got to be careful what you say. Come on, somebody. Because the Bible say life and death lies in the power of your tongue. We say some stuff that we really don't mean. Come on, somebody. That's why you got to examine what you're thinking of before you say it. A lot of folk just speak out of the top of their minds. Come on, somebody. And I come to destroy everything that the devil has made you speak on your life. Come on, somebody. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus to Christ. Come on, somebody. Why? Because the devil wants you dead. Our world. We are in a crisis right now, but those of us that are in Christ, come on, talk to me. We're in a good place. Because he said in Psalm 91 that he'll keep us covered. Y'all talk to me here. Those of you that's looking at me later on, let read Psalms 91 and find out that those that are in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Come on, somebody. He got us covered under his wings. Come on, somebody. That's why I don't worry about Corona-19. That's why I don't worry about this uh, Delta virus because I'm covered under the shadows of the Almighty. And when you're covered under the shadows of the Almighty, folk can say what they want to say. They can do what they want to do. They can say all things, but guess what? I trust him. I believe his report. They said, whose report are you going to believe? I believe the report of the Lord. Not saying it's not real. Not saying things are not happening. Not saying none of that. But I'm saying this to you. I believe the report of the Lord. And he said in my word, he said in his word, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Come on, somebody. He didn't say it wasn't going to be formed. He said it wasn't going to prosper. Come on, somebody. So what you're saying, apostle, yeah, it has formed. Yes, the virus has come, but guess what? It ain't going to prosper when you are a child of the most high God. Come on, somebody. We got to stop being pumped. I wish I would have some witness in here about what they say and believe what he care what they saying. I trust God. Even your dollar bill, even your coin that you spend, that said, in God we trust. So how is it that you don't trust somebody that's able to do anything but fail? Have we got some help in here? I can call Shaq right be shot and them in the goal on their way to the fire furnace where King on. The Bible said they turn the fire up Ten times harder. And I seen Shaq, Red me, Shaq, and the men to go look at the king and say, King, we know our God is able. And if he don't deliver us today, guess what? We still know he's able. What, what they were saying to us, he's able to do anything but fail. We got some help in here. Somebody out there in Facebook world, you needed to hear that today, whatever you're going through today. You just ask in the Father's name, and he's able to fix your situation. Heaven got a witness in here. I don't know about y'all, but I've called on him sometimes in my life, Rod. And I, I called him in the midnight hour. Come on, somebody. And he came to hear my hearing cry. Come on, somebody. I cried to the Lord and said, oh, Lord, I need your help. Sometimes you just got to cry out unto the Lord and say, Lord, surrender. I stop by to tell you when you give up your plan God will start working in his plan. And I got some help in here. When you give up your ways God will start working in his own ways. When you give up your 
your thoughts. Come on, somebody. God is not working in his thoughts. Now we got a witness in here. It's too many of us that are working against ourselves. Trying to do stuff our way. Trying to do it the way we think it should be doing. But you need some help from Jesus. Come on, somebody. You need some help from the Father. Come on, somebody. That's why he said, I sit high and I look low. I know all about you. Come on, somebody. That's why they sung a song a long time ago, all in his hands. Come on. I put it all in his hand. No matter how great or small. Come on, talk to me. He's the master of it all. What that mean? He can handle it. That's a fact. You got to put it in his hand. It things feel good to me because I know when I put it in his hands, to you his hands is better than all state hands. Come on, come on, come on. You can't get no better than that. When I put it in his hand, Rod, guess what? I come out healed on top. Come on, because his word says, by his stripes, I'm already healed. It's, a, it's his desire that I prosper and be in good health. Even as my soul shall prosper, have I got some help in here? He said, I'll be a doctor in a sick room. I'll be a lawyer in a courtroom. I'll be everything that you need if you put it in my hand. When I put it in his hands, he's subject to make things all right. I'm trying to leave y'all, but I feel this thing in here too many times. I keep eating the Holy Ghost too many times. We wrestle in our own mind. Can I help us today? A lot of us in the shape we in because of our own selfish conclusions. Come on, talk to me. Our own selfish um, Admittance. Come on, somebody. Because we want to do stuff our way. Got people all around me that call me every day. I sit there and minister. And all I can tell you is when you do it his way, things will turn out for your good. When you try the way he's telling you to do it, I found out. Later, Brooke is when I start trying it his way, blessings start overflowing. One thing about God, he is a man of his words. He said, I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Come on, talk to me. One thing about God, you don't have to beg when God is in control. Have a guy witness when God is in control? Come on, things are subject to work that you never thought of working your favor. Yeah. Your credit don't mean nothing no. when God is in control. Your history don't mean nothing when you put God in control. I stopped by to tell y'all today uh -huh. that's listening to me as I hurry on to a close this morning. Yeah. If you trust him and believe, he'll work it out yeah. for your good. Have I got a witness? Yeah. I'm leaving now, y'all. What I tell you every time I trusted the Lord, he stepped in right on time. Just when I need him most, he'll step in right on time. You might say to me, Apostle, my light bill do. My telephone is disconnected and I'm waiting for my next paycheck. But I tell you what you are to do. You are called on Jesus. And I got a witness. When you call him, he'll see about you. I heard somebody say, call him up and tell him what you want. I heard him say a line is never busy. I tell him what I want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. If you need love, just tell him. John 3.16 Say for God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. That's love. Have I got a witness in here? Whatever you need. God, he got it. Say yeah. Say yeah. I trust the Lord with all my heart. Baby, you're right.
out for our good. I trust him, Rob, and I give him all that I have. Yes. To some it may not be much, but that that it is, I give it to him. Amen. Amen. You ought to give it to him today. While the blood is running warm in your veins. I trust him and those that are looking at me as we get ready to close. I'm begging you this morning as I begin to pray for you today to close your eyes and just start thinking of all the things that you've been through. As God get ready to touch you right there in your home, right there in your car, right wherever you are. As we get ready to pray today, we got to believe that he's rewarded to those that seek him. Let us pray, God. Our Father, we come thanking you, God, for a new day of grace and mercy. God, we thank you that you are Father, you are Lord, you are Waymaker, you are Redeemer. Thank you for redeeming us out of the hands of the enemy. God, we thank you for being a friend when everybody have left us and walked off, God, when mama's not here, dad is not here, sister and brother are gone, aunts and uncles. God, we pray now, God, that you will be a hand in, in, in the midst of our life. God, lead and guide us as we repent. As we repent today of all our sins, iniquities, and transgressions, as we lay aside, God, every weight and the sin, those who either will sell us, as we now look up to you, who's the art and the finisher of our faith. God, we thank you today, God, for that individual that's listening to me, God, that's at home, God, that's listening by Facebook, God. We pray those that are here, God, that are listening, God, we pray for deliverance. We pray for power. We pray for peace. In the name of Jesus. Touch that weary heart. Touch that weary mind, God. Touch that person that have lost a loved one to them. Let them know that they have lost nothing. But that gained you even the more, God. God, I love you today, God. We adore you today, God. As you touch right now, strengthen right now. Give them strength where they're weak. Build them up where they've been torn down, God. Touch their heart that they know that you're real. Let them see and know that you're real in their life, God. I believe you can and I know you will. I recognize you got all power in the palm of your hand. And God, we call it fixed in the name of Jesus. We call it done now, God. Deliver right now. Heal right now. Set free right now, God. It's in Jesus' name, God. We love you. And we're doing you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you pray amen. with me, amen, amen, and you heard that prayer, and you believe God, amen. amen. You can call us now at 901-332-0185. Amen. And get saved. Amen. We will give you the right hand of fellowship and let you know that you are one of us. God loves you and we do too until we meet again. God bless you. We love you. Amen.